The movie unfolds with a young married couple enjoying their time in a peaceful valley in France. The husband peacefully dozes off amidst the pine trees, while his pregnant wife reads a book and savors strawberries. Suddenly, the wife experiences painful contractions, and her husband hastily wakes up to assist her. He grabs their picnic basket and rushes to the car with his wife, leaving all the food behind. In an instant, the field comes alive with the buzz of countless insects, eager to devour the abandoned feast. Not too far away, three little ladybugs hatch under a leaf and tumble to the ground. Their parents fly down to guide them in stretching their wings and taking flight. However, as they are still learning, one of the ladybugs stumbles and hears a mischievous comment from a small fly. After the fly leaves, the ladybug makes another attempt to fly and embarks on an exploration of the forest, chasing the same teasing fly. Driven by curiosity, she ventures deeper into the forest. Yet, her adventure takes an unexpected turn when she becomes trapped. Upon landing, her fellow insects gather, attempting to corner her. Overwhelmed with fear, the ladybug desperately jumps and tries to escape. But the persistent flies are determined to capture their prey. As a result, the ladybug loses control and tumbles onto a rocky surface, causing her to lose one of her wings and consciousness. The flies hover above her briefly, checking if she's dead but flee when they see she's only unconscious. After a while, the ladybug regains her senses and attempts to fly, but with only one wing, it proves to be a difficult task. Soon, rain starts to pour, prompting her to seek shelter behind a mushroom. However, the presence of snails forces her to leave the protective shade. She crawls out of the hole and calls out for her parents, but receives no response. Alone and soaked in the rain, the poor ladybug begins her journey into the forest. Fortunately, she discovers sanctuary in an abandoned lunchbox filled with sugar cubes left behind by the couple. Finding refuge, the ladybug rests for the night. The next morning, she wakes up to a scene of chaos. Various insects, like caterpillars, beetles, and bugs, are fiercely competing for the remaining picnic food. Even a box of matches becomes a subject of dispute among the bed bugs. In the midst of this commotion, a troop of black ants led by Mandible catches a whiff of the sugar and rushes towards the lunchbox. Observing this, the ladybug crawls inside the box, going unnoticed by Mandible. He sniffs and tastes the sugar, experiencing pure delight. Whistling to his comrades, Mandible signals the ants to abandon their collections and gather to carry the box. As the ants tilt the box, the sugar cubes tumble, inadvertently falling onto the ladybug. Desperately trying to hold on, she struggles, but when the ants eventually toss the box onto a rock, she loses her grip and slips out. Meanwhile, the diligent worker ants restore the sugar back into the container. In the process, they come across the ladybug lying on her stomach. Witnessing her plight, Mandible, with good intentions, tries to assist the ladybug. However, in an act of self-defense, she releases a highly lethal gas, causing Mandible to faint. At that moment, a lizard watches the scene from a distance. It climbs onto a rock and lets out a fierce scream. Frightened, the ants take cover under sugar chunks, trembling with fear. The lizard approaches Mandible, ready to devour him. Yet, the ladybug quickly climbs into the box and creates alarming noises, frightening the lizard away. With the danger gone, the ants express their gratitude and warmly welcome the ladybug into their group. When the ladybug explains her inability to fly, the ants invite her to join them at their anthill. Together, they embark on a long journey to the colony, persisting through various obstacles. Even from a considerable distance, Mandible can communicate with his fellow ants through his antennae. He informs the group that they will soon be returning home. However, their progress is interrupted when a swarm of hostile red ants detects them, desiring a share of their sugar. Mandible halts his group and offers the red ants a cube before continuing on their way. But Buter, the leader of the red ants, greedily demands more, prompting his tribe to pursue the black ants relentlessly. Realizing the danger his crew faces, Mandible devises an escape plan utilizing gravity to their advantage. They intend to descend the mountain atop the box, with all the ants holding on. Buter, on the other hand, refuses to give up easily and employs a rusty soda can to roll down the mountain. As a result, both the box containing the black ants and the kin with the red ants are swiftly swept away by the rushing river. Despite the rapids and hurdles, the red ants continue their relentless pursuit. Soon after, the red ants catch up with their rivals and push the container, causing the ladybug to fall into the river and get carried away by the current. Chased by a hungry pike fish, the black ants join forces to build a bridge and rescue their friend from the water. However, they face another challenge, a large waterfall blocking their path. Without hesitation, the black ants and the ladybug jump into the box and plummet down from a height. At the same time, the pike fish and a group of red ants follow in pursuit. The pike and the jar of red ants become trapped at the bottom, while the red ants manage to float to the surface. Seizing the opportunity, the black ants and the ladybug secure the remaining sugar cubes from the box and continue their journey towards the anthill. Later on, the ladybug spots her former family flying across the forest and tries to catch up. 
Unfortunately, with only one wing, she cannot fly and becomes frustrated. Returning to the ant colony, she resumes her journey with her newfound companions. Meanwhile, the red ants persistently follow the black ants as they transport their treasure home. During the night, they surround and encircle the box, while the ladybug and mandible stand guard. The next morning, the black ants wake up and resume their journey. After a while, the ladybug suddenly stops and looks back, while the black ants continue onward. She notices the red ants rapidly approaching from behind and hurries ahead to warn Mandible. Together, they devise a strategy that involves the ladybug, whose red body makes it difficult for the red ants to distinguish her from the black ants. Just as they manage to evade the pursuing red ants, a car dangerously approaches, threatening to crush them as they cross the street. Fortunately, the black ants survive the close encounter and swiftly return to their anthill. Once they reach the anthill, the black ants present their precious sugar cubes to their queen who consumes one and lays trillions of eggs as a result. The ladybug finds solace among the ants, resting and dreaming about her former home in the peaceful valley. When she wakes up this time, she discovers a miraculous change, her wings have regrown, and she can fly once again. Meanwhile, Buter discovers the location of the black ant colony. He swiftly informs his queen, who commands the red ants to launch an immediate attack. A swarm of red ants armed with chestnuts, stones, slingshots, and even insect spray rushes towards the black ant nest. In the following scene, the black ants are abruptly awakened by a loud, irritating buzz early in the morning. A swarm of red ants is approaching their anthill. The red ants relentlessly launch slingshots, causing holes to form in the anthill. Determined to defend their home, the black ants fight back. They hurl a package of cotton buds into the swarm of red ants, followed by bottles containing various medications aimed at the advancing horde. However, the red ants prove to be formidable opponents. During an emergency meeting with the queen, Mandible discovers a stash of matchsticks within the colony. Recognizing that this is the opportune moment to use them, the ants strategically position their weapons on top of the anthill while the attackers attempt to break through the stone gate using a pine cone. Mandible, with only a single matchstick, successfully ignites a fire before lighting one of the fuses. The firecracker soars through the air, wreaking havoc on a significant portion of the opposing force. However, the match quickly burns out, and the enemy strikes back with even greater vigor. At that moment, the ladybug recalls seeing a box of matches discarded by humans before joining the ants. She urgently informs her fellow ants and offers to fly down and retrieve the matches. Recognizing her need for assistance, her friends construct a paper aircraft to propel her flight. Fortunately, the ladybug quickly gains confidence and learns to fly independently. The ladybug takes flight towards the picnic spot where they had obtained the sugar. However, when she tries to grab the matchbox from the picnic basket, it proves too heavy for her. Suddenly, she witnesses a spider sneaking in and effortlessly picking up the box, carrying it back to its cave. Intrigued, the ladybug decides to follow the spider. Meanwhile, the relentless red ant attack on the antel continues, with the entrance being ruthlessly battered by a pineapple. Despite the ongoing struggle, the black ants maintain hope and patiently await the ladybug's return. As dusk falls, the spider returns to its dwelling, a toy castle within an abandoned tube. The ladybug infiltrates the spider's lair, discovering that the spider needs matches to secure its web. Before the ladybug can take any action, she is snatched away by a toad that had been observing from behind a glass pane. The ladybug desperately clings to the edge, but the toad persistently pulls her. Sensing the invasion, the spider becomes alarmed. In a twist of fate, the ladybug manages to hold onto the window, causing the house to collapse on top of the toad. Exhausted and injured, the ladybug loses consciousness. In her slumber, she dreams of a beautiful field filled with blooming flowers, where blissful ladybugs soar through the air. Upon waking up, she finds herself in bed, being cared for by the spider. Relieved that they have escaped the toad's clutches, the spider nourishes the ladybug and offers her the box of matches with understanding. With a few sticks removed, the box becomes significantly lighter, enabling the ladybug to carry it effortlessly. On their journey, the ladybug's ears catch the sound of familiar laughter, reminiscent of joyful moments from her childhood. In the past, the ladybug had been pursued by the flies that caused her wing to break. Now, she witnesses the same flies targeting another ladybug. Determined to intervene, she drops the matches and rushes to confront the culprits. Drawing attention to herself, the ladybug races towards the road. A car approaches, and with confident flight, she narrowly escapes a collision. Meanwhile, the flies collide with the car's headlights, knocked out of the picture. With the flies dealt with, the ladybug returns to the injured insect and assures them that she will be back soon. Later, when all seems lost and the black ant colony faces near destruction, they hear the arrival of their ladybug friend. 
She soars above the army of red ants, carrying the matches to the summit of the anthill. Within seconds, the red ants tremble in terror as the black ants ignite their rockets. They spiral, crash to the ground, and explode, setting the ant venom tank ablaze. Though the red ants are defeated, a fire engulfs the surroundings. Seeking refuge, the black ants and the ladybug retreat to the main hall. Moments later, they witness an aircraft flying over the anthill, dousing the fire with foam. The flames are extinguished, but the foam continues to erode the anthill. The surviving ants and the ladybug escape from the wreckage, silently surveying their transformed surroundings. Weeks pass, and the ladybug has grown and returned to her friend, whom she had previously rescued from the flies. They now have five children who have successfully learned to fly. Meanwhile, the diligent black ants have rebuilt their anthill. Mandible and the ladybug remain steadfast best friends, often coming together to admire the beauty of the sunset. And so, the tale comes to an end. The moral of the story is never underestimate the power of a determined ladybug and a box of matches when dealing with pesky flies and ant invasions. Oh, and always remember to check for oncoming cars before attempting daring aerial maneuvers.